Okay, welcome to Sims 3. Uh, basically, you get it started off, you, know, you only get only one town to start with. So, we're just going to select it and go new game. Pretty much, you can access anywhere within this neighbourhood um, at any time. So, it's a lot user friendly, it's a lot more functional. Um, so, let's just go, let's just choose one that's already made, actually. Scrap that, we'll show you the character creation screen here. As you can see, I mean, you choose your gender, your hair, whatever the hell you want it to look like. Um, you know what I mean, blah blah blah. <laughs> Yada yada boring. Great, let's go. I finished my sim. We'll just, um, for this purpose, how about we just move in to say. Here we'll do. Uh, too many people. Here we'll do. One guy. Let's move in here and have a look. There's a lot of the shit house like confirmation boxes like, are you sure? And do you really want to do that? And are you really sure? And oh, it drives you absolutely bananas, seriously. But having said that, it's in one and two, so I guess it's more of the for all people sort of game. It's not really your typical hardcore gamer game. I mean, all right, lovely, a very unfinished building. Um, I mean, you build screens exactly the same as two and whatever. Oh, I was just lagging, look at that. <laughs> okay, look at that, let's have a look, you can get, you know, it's pretty much the exact same functionality as, um, two, not, you can scroll out, I mean, you can go for a walk, you can visit other people's houses, um, if you press M for map or, you know, whatever you want to press, Whoops. Double clicking myself. As you can see, I mean, you can see the whole town. Um, you can go to the park, you can go to the 24 hour gym, you can go to join a music career, go to classes, and all sorts of different crap. Um, you can go right up here. I mean, if you. I, on my other account, work for the army, so I work up here, obviously. You don't have to necessarily look for jobs in papers anymore or anything like that. You can just come to the place and go join or attend classes and things like that. Um, yeah, it's very, very advanced in the comes in the map and the usability and the interactivity in this one. Uh, we want to go back to our guy or if we want to zoom in anyway, you just pretty much left click, say I want to go to the gym, left click next to the gym, voila. Um, for this purpose, how about we just, um, get drinks alone, why not? <laughs> As you can see, you won't actually load, um, if you watch, there I am here, and I'm currently in a taxi, driving all the way down to the gym, oh, sorry, I'm going to eat, that's right, fuck, I've got the brain span of a goldfish. Zoom in, you can see what I'm actually doing. The only downside is you can't really see in buildings, as you can see. Um, that's mainly the only bad thing about it. I mean, look, if you zoom right in, it just bugs out. <laughs> As you can see, I'm looking straight through the building. It's they haven't designed the inside of every building. I mean, if they'd done that, it'd just be truly amazing. I mean, also you should be able to steal other people's cars. That would be another good thing about it. You know, that'd be awesome as well. As you can see here, just by scrolling, just the um, depth that the game has is just remarkable. As you can see. Fraps is making me lag quite a bit, unfortunately. But I'm running the game maxed out as it stands, so um, you can tilt, 
blah blah blah, you know, tilt, zoom, turn, whatever. If you want to go back home, it's as easy as zooming out, clicking on your home and saying go home and then zooming into your house and waiting for your lovely taxi to get there. Okay, just while we're waiting for me to get back, you'll see another feature here that the couch is um, on an angle here. That's another good thing about it. If I just, for a demonstration, buy a little... Well, I've only got $900, so I'll buy a little chair or something. Yippee. But you'll see here that you can not only place it, you can angle it diagonally in pretty much any direction. Um, another feature that I like is in the kitchens, you can actually use this section of the actual kitchen. The corner pieces aren't actually wasted anymore, you can indeed use them now. <laughs> um, so that's always a plus. As for everything else, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you go to work now, um, for purposes sake, I'll just quickly get a job. pretty much when you go to work now instead of just sitting there going oh god what am I gonna do for the next three hours um, so to speak you can actually choose you how you perform at work like whether you're bludging off or whether you're just hanging out with the boys at work or the females at work I should say as well um, or whether you're sucking up kissing ass to the boss or you know whether you pushing yourself really hard and what that does is that depends on all your skills as well pretty much on um, how your mood is and everything like that um, with the fridge now it's similar but in the sense that you, now you have an inventory where you, you know you go down grocery shopping and you buy all of the ingredients that you actually need and they get stored in your inventory you also get a cell phone which is quite handy for quitting work or taking photos um, in the careers panel there's not the annoying skills that there used to be so you don't have to get like 50 million thousand skills to get a rank up it's pretty much just as normal um, your skills are a bit more advanced here it gives you you know like this is for fishing for example number of fish caught fish types etc um, You've got these three here, pretty much as you work, you know, as you're playing along, you get things come up like, oh, you want to bake some cookies for the school and stupid things like that, or do some extracurricular for work. Um, you accept that and you get more life career points. These are the lifetime rewards here. Pretty much when you do life rewards, you get points, obviously. Um, these accumulate throughout the whole game in which you can you know, trade them in per se for different sort of things like um, professional slacker if you can't read it it says how cool would it be to be able to watch TV and slack off at work without the boss caring um, or discount diner here is another one and it says restaurant meals will be on the house tips and tax included so I mean there's all sorts of different things that you can do now um, As you see here, you've got your own car spot as well for when you can actually afford one or if you're cheating then straight away or whatever you want. Um, down here you'll see that you've got also another panel here and it's showing you some goals that you want. Um, this one's pretty much saying pick up a new skill in cooking. So if you select that down here, when you achieve them you'll see um, you'll get different reward points and things like that so there's a bit of few goals and things to do as well so I start my job uh, tomorrow oh, if only we could speed this up a full day <laughs> um, let's have some lunch um, cooking's fairly similar to how it used to be 